It's been about two years since I finished my CNC router build and also made the control computer stand. During this time, I have also found out that there are three areas that clearly need to be updated. This video documents the redesigning of the features on these three areas and the manufacturing updates employed to fix these issues. Issue number one, the pivot joint is falling apart and needs to be made more robust. Number two, the mount to the router body needs to enable a wider sweep angle so that it's easier to set the Z0 height offset. The first two updates should fix the third one, which is the up and down movement of the table, especially during the rapid moves. I began by addressing the pivot joint, which originally had only four flanges and was held together with only glue and screws. This construct is falling apart. The new design will have multiple flanges that are seated on the shelved cuts. The flanges will have a universal design that will enable any number of instances to be grouped together as shown prior to assembly with the side frames to create a modular subunit. The existing arm offers a limited sweep angle. The new mount is designed to provide a larger sweep angle for the entire arm. This will make it easier to set the Z-axis height offset. The mount is designed to assemble onto a 1030 aluminum extrusion as shown. The multiple flank design also ensures vertical stability of the entire arm. I actually got this idea from another YouTube video. I got a little creative with the table part and decided to incorporate some plexiglass. Plus a half an inch plywood as shown, this construct cut a lot of weight as compared to the first version. I then went ahead and routed all the components from a three quarters thick 48 by 48 plywood sheet. I first assembled the router body mount section, then added it to the 1030 aluminum extrusion. I then assembled the pivot flange components, assembly molds as shown, and added them to the side frames using glue and screws. Remember that 3 quarters thick is actually 23 over 32, which is approximately 0.718. That's it, right? 0.718. I made the press fit slots to 0.720, which actually in some cases required a little bit of sanding to fit. I'm now going to add both arms using half inch bolts. All the joints have been designed to use half inch bolts for consistency. The multi-flank pivot feels a lot more stable and is definitely a lot more robust and shouldn't fall apart with time. The new mount has also successfully increased the swing angle as intended. The entire construct is also a lot more stiffer as compared to the original version. I might need to add some dampeners though to completely eliminate any unwanted shaking. 